Hello everyone! I'm back! Called Bonner Burberry here at the Singing Clockery with a new clock. This is very exciting, especially because this will be one of several new clocks that I will be demonstrating over the next few days, hopefully. Um, let's start off with one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite newly acquired clocks. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Seth Thomas column shelf slash wall clock. And as you can see, we have it set up as a wall clock. Um, this clock was made based on a few factors before 1865. And I'll tell you a little bit about why we think this might be the case. So Seth Thomas uh, was one of quite a few clock ma makers originating in Connecticut. Um, and he lived and set up shop in a town known as Plymouth Hollow, Connecticut. And when Seth Thomas died in 1865, the town name was changed to Thomaston, Connecticut, in his honor. Now, this clock, both on the movement and on the back of the case, says Plymouth Hollow, Connecticut, which makes me think that it was probably made maybe sometime in the 1850s or maybe 1860s. This clock is a time and strike movement. It strikes every hour with the number of gongs of the hour on a pretty impressive sounding coiled gong. It is a weight driven clock and it has what's known as a liar movement, which unfortunately you can't see because it's behind the dial, but uh, I'm very fond of this clock. It has taught me a lot about how American clocks work and I'm very excited to show you how it works and what it sounds like. Enjoy! Enjoy! 